Now, first of all, when Iabo and Caroline had that fight, it was very messy. I mean, it was it was horrible. Like Caroline literally started coming after Iabo, you know, insulting her, shouting at she, her. She her. was raising her voice. We had an agreement that we were going to snub Laura if she starts a drama. Because we noticed that Laura was making everything about her. She wanted to be the show, which was okay, but it was now becoming annoying because we actually wanted to have fun in Dubai, right? So we said to ourselves, if she comes on board and she starts with this, her mood swings and all that, we will just ignore her and not even talk to her or ask her what is wrong with her or anything so that we can all have fun and not even talk about her. So when we got to Dubai, I got to Dubai before everyone. I was there like a week with my girlfriends and everything. So... When I came to join them that day, because I was coming now, I was with my girlfriends for like a week. You know, the way girlfriends are like four or five of us in an, in an apartment. I was there with them. And then I'm coming to meet another set of ladies. I still came with that spirit, right? So when I got there and she was going on and on about her bracelet, blah, blah, blah. I totally had forgotten that. Yeah, but now the camera is back on. Now you're back on, on, the, on the reality show, you know? I just went off on the normal girls talk like, ah, to bracelet, like who got it for you? Was it your ex, like your ex-husband or your current boyfriend? Because the last time me and Caroline had a conversation, which was a week before then, she told me she was searching, right? So I didn't know that she had met a new man in one week. Do you understand? So I was a bit confused when she said her man, her man, her man. So I felt she was talking about her ex-husband because she, you know, she told me about him giving her a lot of gifts, buying her a lot of expensive things. So I just thought it was one of those bracelets. You understand that he must have gotten her. I did not even, because I was a bit confused. Sorry, Maybe before I should have asked on you. It, yeah. Before you continue, you people have had this uh, conversation of gifts in the previous, like in the past. Yeah, she had told me that okay. our, our, our ex-husband used to buy her a lot of expensive things. You understand? That he might not give her cash but he was always buying her expensive things. We already had okay. that conversation. Do you understand? Okay. That she's okay. so not used to even asking men for things. You know, we had this girl-girl talk conversation several okay. times with Choma there and, you know, yes, because me, her, and Choma, the three of us were very close. So each time we sit, we talk about this relationship thing and all that, you know? And the last time I, I and I spoke, she was like, ah, she's looking for someone that will be, you know, like now she, you know, she wants somebody who is more responsible and more this, more that. So, I didn't know she had any serious relationship. Let me use that word. And you know, for me to say, for you to say my man, my man means that you have a serious relationship. So I was confused when I asked that question, but I should not have asked that question on camera. But because you understand, I was coming from, do you understand? I was coming from a, a place where I was with my girlfriends already. And you know, girlfriends, the way we talk, we talk about anything. You know, I yeah. told, even that was not the only I even offended Tiana too. They just didn't show that part. I was asking Tiana, ah, how is your how is your um, banana? Do you understand? As in how is your I don't know if I can use the word. How is your co? <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> and Tiana was like, ha, ah, on camera. So there was a lot of things I was and I got there and I was just asking I was I you know it took a while for me to say, ha, ah, yeah, you are on camera. Oh do you understand? I was like, hey. Okay. And immediately we left there. I went to, even on that same spot, they just didn't show that part. I said, oh, I'm sorry. Because all of them looked at me like, yeah, boy. I was like, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I forgot that I'm on camera. Hey, I'm sorry, Caroline. I hope you know that I didn't mean it in a bad way. She now said, oh, that she knows, that she knows. That it's just because she's upset. So, and I still went to meet her and Choma in the room. Do you understand? And I was asking, I hope you're not upset. I feel so bad. I asked that on camera. I didn't mean it that way. I was just like, you know, I was surprised. I didn't know that she was like, ah, that is because she had not gisted me about it, that she understands that I ah, from the guy. We even joked. She even said, ah, oh, so I wish that that thing, I was the one that stole it. You know, I didn't know it was going to say, will buy me another one because I, apparently she said her boyfriend said, oh, a man said she was going to buy her another one. I was like, ah, you see now, and you've been worried. You see now, he's going to buy you a better one. I said, ah, if I had no self, I would have just kept this thing to myself and said, ah, I, I was lost. You know, we even, like, she, she, it was a, she said it jokingly, right? And we laughed about it. Like, ah, you, eh, you will steal it. Ah, you know, like, we had a lengthy conversation. Me, her, yeah. and Choma were laughing and joking about it until I decided to say, okay, you know, well, let me just go and change and because we had to go and take a nap so that we could get ready for the day. 
So that ended there, which was not a big deal, even though the show made it seem like it was an issue. And I was so shocked even in her diary sections when she was talking about it, I was like, ah, uh -uh. me and you had this conversation after this and you never for once told me that you were angry or you felt a certain kind of way. Because it's a different thing if I ask you, which of your boyfriends bought it? Which of your boyfriends now can mean that I'm saying you have too many men in your life? Do you understand? I asked if it was your ex, because you told me your ex was giving you a lot of gifts, gave, gave you a lot of gifts when you guys were together. Do you understand? So that was my take on that. So I never knew whether Chum, um, Caroline had any issues about that, because I went back to her in her room. We talked about it. Do you understand? I kept asking her about it, and she said she was fine. You know, okay. they took us to a villa, and in that villa had five rooms. We were six ladies. Tiana and I had to share one room, right? And every other person. See, I am the oldest. Mm -hmm. They actually came to ask me that, am I comfortable in sharing a room with Tiana? And because I didn't want the other ladies to have any issues. That's this me trying to be a big sis. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. I didn't want the other ladies to have any issues. I said, you know what? I would rather share a room with Tiana. She's my person. So that every other lady can have their own room. It is fine. Do you understand? I could easily have said, no, 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 no. I want my own room too. And then there'll be issues. But I didn't want that issue. So when we left there, because, you know, that villa, they had a lot of restrictions. Tiana's husband came. Do you understand? So we had to moved to the main the other apartment and that apartment only had three rooms no four rooms no, was it four or three three, uh, three rooms I... but each um apart from the the master room the other two rooms had double bed and, and it was so the other rooms had double bed double bed yes the other rooms had double bed double bed and so it was not going to be enough because nobody wanted to share a room with um um Lord. it was remaining um me tiana um Chioma, um Caroline and Laura. Laura had taken the room downstairs and nobody wanted to go and share that room with her downstairs, right? So we only had one room with two beds. They had to get us on another apartment. But whatever apartment we were going to get, one of us still had to share. Do you understand? Because now we have two rooms, yeah. but in the, the two rooms we had an extra bed. So the, the two rooms had extra bed, but nobody wanted to share with Laura. So Laura had a room to herself already. Now, Aww. it had only one room left that had two beds. And there were four other ladies, do you understand, that needed an apartment. So it was me, me Ch and Tiana, Choma, and um, Caroline, four of us. And we only had two beds. So they got another apartment for us. Tiana came to meet me and she said, they've gotten an apartment, but she's thinking maybe she should give the apartment to um, Choma and Caroline and then me and her share that one room that has two beds. I said, it was fine. Then she said, but the only problem she has now is that her husband, where her husband is staying is like two hours. He said, okay, I can leave this place for you and your husband and I will go and get an apartment and stay somewhere else. And if at any time they need me, I will come. She so said, ah, no, that would be too stressful for me. That maybe she should talk to Choma and Caroline, since they are besties, they can share this room, right? And then she knows me, I'm comfortable with her husband. Her husband knows me already, so he'll be comfortable around me. The apartment where we are going to is also a two bedroom. She will stay with her husband in one room. I can stay in the other room. And then my PA that came with me can stay in the living room, which I felt, okay, it made sense because my PA had to be coming from a different place every day. I was spending money on transportation and where he was staying. So I said, okay, that will make sense. Both talk to them because I don't want them to feel any kind of way. If they don't want to share this room, let them have that apartment. Don't worry about me. I will sort myself out. Now this, she now said, okay. So she went to Caroline. I didn't know who she went to, but she came back and told me that they've agreed. And I said, ah, who did you speak to? She said she spoke to she Caroline went, she about went to it. Caroline and, and told Caroline, yeah. And Caroline, yes, she went to Caroline. To me. And Caroline told me, and I said, okay, no problem. Since her husband needs a place to stay, they can stay in that apartment. And then me and Caroline would just share the room. We both agreed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You understand? And I also said that 
I know Chioma and Caroline won't want to stay far away from each other. Because if Tiana has to go there with her husband, and then maybe Chioma or Caroline has to go there, then it will not leave me or Chioma or me and Caroline to share a room. And I know Chioma and Caroline are like just partners. They would always want to be together. Do you understand? So, yes. but I just wanted them to be okay with that idea. And this, she came back to tell me they were okay. So everything was good. The show needed me, yes, the show needed me to leave on time. Why? We were already planning on a blind date for Chioma. So they really didn't want me to roll with them, Chioma. Yes, even Chioma didn't know. They didn't want me to roll with Chioma. They wanted me to go with the other people so that they can have that conversation with me and then we can plan it before Chioma gets on board. Do you understand? So that was why I could do, they had to send my friend because my friend was around, um, Sharon. They had to send Sharon to come and call me. So when I went out to Sharon, why are you shouting my name? I'm waiting for them. She said, ah, but yeah, but they, they, what, they need you now. They said they're planning something. I said, oh, 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 oh. So I went back and I said, Chioma, Carolina, you guys should meet me there. I can't roll with you. I will roll with the other lady. So I left. Mm. Do you understand? So mm. on guessing there, along the line, I was in the party bus. Laura was there. I was there. Tiana was there. Miriam was there. And immediately we were in the party bus. No camera. Um... Um, remember we had done my daughter's birthday party in Nigeria, right? Yeah. And she, yeah. she didn't stay for less than five, 10 minutes and she left. So I was already angry with her. Right. So mm -hmm. at the, at the, at, in the bus, she said, um, sis, I know that you're not happy with me because I left your daughter's party and all that. I shouldn't have done that. You know, your daughter came to my event. She stayed there for so long, so many hours, you know, like she's sorry. But that day she was just not feeling cool because of everything that happened previous. Because that meeting was a day to my daughter's birthday party. That meeting that happened was a day to my daughter's mm. birthday party. So that because of that, she wasn't happy. And I said, okay, no problem. And I said, the problem with me and you is not the things that is your reactions. If you have a problem, let's talk about it. And when we talk about it, let it go and then let's move on. You can't be having problem with Choma and Caroline every time. I said, I don't have any problem with Choma. I said, okay, you don't have any problem with Choma. But you have a problem with Caroline. I don't have any problem with Caroline until Caroline had to come and lie, lie that she was pimped. I said, okay, so what do you want us to do? Because you're saying you, you want to be cool with me, but you're not cool with these other ladies. It's, you guys are just going to put me in a spot where I don't like. Do you understand? Because I, I am cool with Choma and I'm cool with Caroline. And it's either you allow or settle this issue between you people so that we can all be cool. Or you just keep up with this, your drama and leave me out of it. Because it's tiring. And she was like, yeah. she just needed to apologize to me about it and that she's upset with Tiana too. And Tiana went off, she was crying, she got, because there was no camera there. All this I'm telling you, there was no camera. Tiana got, and um, she got upset, Tiana started crying, but by then we were already at the, at the, at the um, um, where the yacht was, we were already there. So Tiana got out from the bus, I had to tell Car um, Laura, Laura, go with um, Tiana. I don't want Tiana to go on the, on the yacht with this kind of energy, you know, it's her birthday thing. So go and sort it out with her. So she went, she went, they came back and then, that moment, I just felt sorry for Laura because of the way she was apologizing about everything. You know, I just felt like, okay, you know what? Let me just take this girl. Hmm? Let us so that we can all just have fun. Do you understand? And then when I get back to the hotel or to the villa, wherever we were, I would have that conversation with Choma and Caroline. Do you understand? So let me just yeah. leave her. Because I am not a witch. Somebody cannot be apologizing, 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 and I'll keep giving her attitude. Do you understand? And I told that day, I said, if you're cool, Laura, I will be cool with you. But if you bring this, your negative um, energy, I will diss you. Do you understand? I said it to her day. And then we got down. We went on the boat. I had the conversation with the crew about the planning of the blind date. There was an issue about that. So we had to scrap it so that we could, because we're losing day. Do you understand? We couldn't yeah. achieve that anymore. And that was why I had the scene where I had to speak to her about her love life and whether she was going to settle down. We had to use that to cover up, right? Or whatever uh, we were supposed to show. Yeah, because, now, yeah, we, because that makes sense. That makes sense now. All right. I was wondering yes. why you that understand? scene. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. Auntie, I, uh, any, anytime you see us have a conversation. Yeah. Yeah. I was just going to ask uh, all these things relate to the fights with caroline with trauma right yes that's what led to it yes yes i'm telling you okay. yes now remember we had said we were going to we we're going to ignore laura right 
So Caroline and Choma were not in the party bus when Laura had this lengthy conversation with me, Miriam, and Tiana. Do you understand? So now, when we got on the boat and they came, they saw that I was laughing with um, Laura. We were just chatting, right? Because I wanted Laura to feel comfortable, like, okay, I'm okay with you now. I don't have a problem with you. Do you understand? And I already told her not to have a problem with Choma or Caroline so that we can all have fun because it's Tiana's birthday. Do you understand? So when Laura, when Caroline came on board, I think Caroline was upset with the fact that she saw me relating with Laura. Do you understand? She was upset about that. Now, we had the both seen, everything went fine. We left there. Caroline and Choma, you know, they came with Choma's G wagon, so they left together. Do you understand? Because I remember when I got down from the boat, I was looking for both of them. They had gone. I think they were going somewhere else because they didn't come, they didn't go straight to the hotel. Do you understand? I had to leave in the party bus and Laura again and Miriam. Do you understand? And, yeah. and Laura was chipping into the conversation. She was I didn't go back with her. I think Mary left with them, Shoma, because Miriam was not there. It was me, Tiana, and um me, Tiana and uh, Laura. Shoma, Miriam was with you guys, Abby. You um, guys left with Miriam. Yeah, we did. Yes, because she wasn't there. It was just three of us. And Tiana and I were trying to, because Tiana and I had had some issues, you know, the, uh, before the show. So we were talking about it again. We were revisiting those issues. Do you understand? When we got to the apartment, it was just me, Tiana, and Laura, and we're still having that same conversation that had, had nothing to do with the show. Because mostly when there's no camera, we girls, we gist, we talk. Do you understand? So we were just having our normal gist. And then Shoma and Caroline and uh, Miriam walked in. Right, so obviously they met us just in. We didn't stop our gist. We were still talking because it had nothing to do with the girls or the show. And then they went upstairs. I didn't know Caroline was upset. Do you understand? Because I expected her to have, I mean, to have trusted me enough to know that I wouldn't throw out that the boss or gossip about her. Do you understand? So I did not, in my head, I was not having all those kind of um, feelings or idea. If I did, I would never have gone into that room to tell them, ladies, I'm going to bed. Good night, or bitches. I don't even know what line number, but I know I went to tell them I was going to bed, right? So when I got there, after we were done, and we were supposed to move our things into the two bedroom apartment where Tiana's husband was supposed to come and meet us, I felt it was necessary for me to go upstairs to tell them I was going to bed, right? So I went upstairs. I said, Ah, oh, ladies, bitches, I'm going to bed. Good night. And she didn't respond. Choma said, Okay, good night. She didn't respond. I was like, Ah, Caroline, what's up now? And she, like, she was like, what do you mean, what's up? What do you mean, what's up? You have a place that you're going to. You have a bed to yourself, a room to yourself. I don't have a room to myself. And you're coming telling me good night. And I'm like, uh -uh, chill. I thought Tiana had a conversation with you about you and Choma sharing the other room. And she was like, is Tiana, is, is Tiana part of the production? Is Tiana the production? Why would Tiana be coming to have that conversation with me? Why can't the show tell me that? What the show told me was different. So it's, and I said, okay, oh, so I said, Tiana, Tiana, I was calling Tiana. And I turned and I said, but come, you are raising your voice at me. And I don't appreciate the fact that you're raising your voice at me. I said, I will raise my voice. I will raise myself. You're so insensitive. You came to tell us that you are going to go and sleep. And you know that. We I said, Caroline, did you not tell Tiana that you were okay? She said, initially she did. She did tell Tiana, but they told her that they were going to have that room. I said, so if they told you that, why didn't you tell me? Why are you raising your voice at me? She said, don't talk to me like that. You're not my mother. You're not my mother. You do too much. What is your own? What is your own self? And I said, Caroline, are you okay? You are raising your voice and you are getting mad. If you get mad, that is your business. I don't give a fuck. You can't do me. Do you think I fear you? I don't fear you. I don't send you. Who are you? Who are you? And I was like, ah. Are you wow. okay? Say, are you okay too? Are you normal? Are you normal too? <laughs> ah, um, pardon me, oh, eh, me, oh, she, me, oh, pardon, but, eh, me, I'm street. People should understand. Uh -huh. Do you understand? The ghetto, the, the color in me just switched. <laughs> and when I switched from English to Yoruba, know that I'm not having it anymore with you. Do you understand? <laughs> and I went straight to Yoruba. I said, she, oh, oh. Me, she, she said, back, say, back to you. Same to you. What is it? And I'm like, Tiana came in and Tiana was telling her, Caroline, calm down now because I asked you, you said you were okay. Are you in the production? And who is she? Who is she to come and tell me that she's going to sleep? And then I'm telling her my pain and she's telling me I'm raising up my voice. What am I? And Tiana was like, calm down. And she was like, but she said, Tiana said, but you are raising up your voice. She said, 
But she's the one that first raised her voice. Choma said, no, you're the one who first raised your voice. And why are you raising your voice? Calm down. And she's like, hey, I don't care. Blah, blah, blah. And that moment, mm. that moment, I felt like, okay, you want a fight. So I will mm. give you the fight. Now, we fight differently. Do you understand? We mm. fight differently. Me, I don't know how to be ran. Me, I don't have time for this. I don't do girly fights. Do you understand? I don't have time for... Let's beat ourselves very well. He said, if you want to fight, let's fight. Do you understand? Let yeah. us beat ourselves yeah. very, very well. That is me. It's, I'm not promoting violence, but that is me. We all have, My children are nothing like me. Do you understand? Even when my daughter comes to me, mom, I say, Priscilla, I thank God you're nothing like me. Do you understand? Okay. But me, when I'm angry, this is me. Yeah. This is me. And I cannot pretend. I cannot hide <laughs> my character <laughs> for anybody. Yeah. If you piss me off, I will come for you. Do you understand? Yeah. So that was what happened. She was going on and on. Now, trust me. The fact that she was going on and on was pissing me off. So it wasn't like she just said, you're insensitive. And I just wanted to jump out. No, no. She went on and on. And even though everybody was telling her, it's okay, calm down. She wasn't. What is she going to do? Who is she? What is she? Am I afraid of you? Blah, blah. And this is coming. If it was Laura that I had these issues with, I would be like, okay, maybe because Laura knows that I don't send her. But this is a girl Someone, that yeah. I sent. Do you understand? This is a girl that when the show wanted, like when she said she was going, everybody was tired. The show said she can go if she wants to go. I was the one that was begging for her. Do you understand? I was the one that was ma making excuses for her. Choma was making excuses for her. I was making excuses for her. Do you understand? Even the day at the hotel, when they asked me that, she said she was going, she was done with this show. After this, she's done. Do you understand? Oh. Choma was like, yeah, but please try and talk to her. I've been talking to her. Maybe when you talk to her again, it wasn't my business. I could have said, whoa, 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 we should let her go, let her go. Do you understand? I still went ahead to talk to her. I still went and had to explain to her why she needed to be on the show. Now, here it is. When I went to Caroline, I'm sorry I'm deviating, but I'll come back. When I went to Caroline to say, Caroline, she was rude to me initially when I called her. Choma, you were there. Can you remember? You're the one that told her, why are you being rude to Yabo? Do you remember? When I went to meet her to yeah, say, the, Caroline, the can day, I have the a day conversation that we had Yes. Mm -hmm. She said, no, 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 I don't want to have a conversation. I don't want to have a conversation. I want to go home. I'm not having a conversation. I'm done. I'm do and I was like, the way she snapped at me, I don't like it when people shout on me because I will not shout on you for no reason. Do you understand? So immediately she shouted and people were there. I felt a little bit embarrassed. Do you understand? Like and I turned my stuff. back. And Choma told her that, ah, no, you shouldn't have done. I said, the way you raised your voice. She knocked me and said, yeah, I'm sorry I raised my voice. That's the way I am when I'm upset. Please forgive me. Oh, yeah, come, oh, yeah, come. Let's talk. It was just that the cloth was just too tight. Come and help me. Oh, yeah, Choma, help me lose it a bit. Oh, yeah, come, let's talk. Fine. I accepted it and I sat down with her. I could have easily said, no, 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 I don't want to have a conversation with you anymore because I was already upset with her. You understand? But I did have that conversation with her. Now, in that same spot, I asked her, Caroline, the show has constantly complained about you. What is the problem? They say you're so rude to your crew members, people that, you, I mean, you're frustrating them. I don't like the fact that they're coming to complain about you every time to me. I need to be like, I'm indulging you. Do you understand? I don't like it. What is your problem with the show? Let us finish this thing. You signed the contract. You knew about everything. You read the contract now. She not said, no, the problem she had was that she told them on the show that she didn't want Tiana on that show. Huh. Now, that took me aback. I was like, ah, he hmm. blah, to Jesse. You didn't want Tiana on the show. Ha. Tiana is my own friend, though. How would you not want Tiana on the show? And then me and you will be cool. That would be another problem. Mo. Don't let us bring oh. that one up. She said, no, 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 she has a reason. Tiana was part of the reason why her husband beat her. Tiana was part of the reason why she left her marriage. Blah, 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 blah. And then she went on and on and on and on and on and on about Tiana. I had to call the head production team that, please come, ma. We need you here. There's another problem. I was thinking it was this problem, but we have met another problem. So we had that conversation before we went to Dubai. Do you understand? We had that conversation. Yeah. Now, right there yeah. and there, I was begging her. And then she told me, Tiana does not like anybody. Even you, Tiana has gossiped about you to me. I said, it's not possible for Tiana to gossip about me to you. She showed me a conversation. That was why me and Tiana had a, you know, we had a, a little fight. Do you understand? That was yeah. brought on social media. Do you understand? That was why me and Tiana had yeah. a fight. She showed me her conversation. That Tiana, her conversation with Tiana about me and about Chioma. She showed it to me right there and there. But I had to be the bigger person. The because if I had allowed and the things she had said about yes, if I if I allowed that to get the better part of me, Tiana and I would have had a terrible fight. Do you understand? And it would have 
affected the show because we had limited time to record. So when I saw that, the team called me immediately. They started begging me, ah, yeah, but please, whatever she showed you, just accept that it's not that way. Just please, we need you to be, because I had my daughter's birthday to do. And they, they wanted that meeting. That meeting, they wanted it so bad. And I had my daughter's birthday. That meeting was recorded the day before my daughter's birthday. And they knew that I was going to go off because I was angry at Tiana. When I read that, I would not lie. I was mad. And then they kept telling me to please calm down. And I felt like, you know what? Let me just be the bigger person and calm down. Okay, no, no. The next day is when we went to uh, Miriam's house. Do you understand? So I had to calm down. I knew I had my daughter's birthday. We had Miriam's. I know we had not even thought about the meeting. It was my daughter's birthday. It was Miriam's house, then my daughter's birthday. Right? So I, I just said, okay, you know what? If I get this angry, I know I will not show up at Miriam's house. Miriam will not get what is pissing me off. Do you understand what I'm saying? And it will not be good. So let me just suck whatever it is I had or read on Caroline's phone and go to Miriam's um, house. That's why when I was there, everything I was doing there, I will not lie. That's the first time I pretended to be cool with somebody I wasn't cool with. Do you understand? Oh, that was mm. the first time because I actually they even made me go pick Tiana at 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 her, at home. <laughs> and this is somebody everybody knew on the team that I was angry at. Tiana didn't know what was pissing me off because I had not confronted her. But I had to just you know like listen to the team and go pick Tiana up. And then we Is got that to why Miriam's you were so quiet that to... day? Because even I didn't know. What yes. So oh, I was so wonder. quiet. Now, I'm when Shoma and you. Caroline now came late, that I, I was that all that thing I was doing on that day, but I was just I was trying. Do you understand? Okay. Because I didn't want it to be a transfer of aggression. Do you understand? So mm-hmm. that was why I told Shoma, Shoma, next time don't come late. Do you, do you understand? Wonder. Because I was just because you see, let me tell you right, something. Okay. Even sense. though it's a reality show, if I get angry we will not be able to record anything and if they're going to record there will be a delay and trust me when i when my head hits the floor when i'm mad i will not stay to record anything i will take everything off and i'll get the hell out of there that is me do you understand Uh, so uh, i knew that it was either i decided to be the bigger person or i go off and if i wanted to go off on tiana i didn't want it to be on camera so i can really vent do you get yeah. me? So when I went there that day, I was not in a really good mood, but I had to pretend. That was why if you go and watch the karaoke scene, I was seated. It you didn't pretend. You Joma had to force me day. to even sing. Mm-hmm. 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 I want me that I have a I have a lounge where we do karaoke every Sunday. I am a karaoke fan. I am one of the associations of the karaoke members in Nigeria. I, I can't see uh-huh. karaoke and not jump at it. Do you understand? Okay. But that day. I was in a terrible mood. Do you understand? Now, all this happened, and then we now had to go to Dubai. We know we had to do the, the cultural thing. Do you understand? Yeah. Even the cultural thing, they did not tell me that it was Tiana Austin. They didn't tell me it was Tiana Austin. I got there and found out it was Tiana. And because they knew, the team knew that I was angry. Do you understand? But I had to also be a bigger person. Okay. Because at the same so- time, I know she's, she's upset with Tiana. If I start fighting Tiana, Caroline will join and it will be like we are teaming against Tiana. Do you understand? So I had to just pretend to be okay. And then I fell sick. Do you understand? In between when we were shooting that, um, what's it called? That um, um, cultural dating. I was very sick. I was very, very sick. But I had to just go. Because the team will not understand that because I'm sick. They will think maybe because I have an issue with Tiana. Do you understand? So I had to go. So everything I was doing, I was just managing to do it. Because Caroline already showed me that text. And that text didn't leave my head. I don't want to talk about the text now because me and Tiana, we've made up. But I'm bringing it in so that you people know where I'm coming from with Caroline. Do you understand? Okay. Yeah. yeah. So now, this is you now raising your voice at me, insulting me. Do you understand? Throwing tantrums. If you see... I also, like I'm telling you, I had transfer aggression, right? But I controlled it. If you have a transfer aggression and they're telling you, okay, you've explained yourself, calm down, yeah. aren't you going to keep quiet? I don't want you, you to understand? get upset again. No, I, I yeah. will get upset because people don't, under, people don't understand what happened. They just felt she said, you're insensitive and the next thing I want to beat her. No, she was in, so she was in her voice. So then, what are you? What are you going to do? Yeah, yeah, you're not my mother. Go. What is it? Leave me alone. You know, like I was like, where is all this noise coming from? What is where is all this anger coming from? I didn't even know then that she was upset that I spoke to Laura. I didn't know. I just felt like there was more to this issue. 
and I wanted to know what was it because at that moment I felt so broken I was angry and I moved because let me tell you something when they kept going when she kept going on her own I turned to leave the room do you understand and I heard that said yeah. your own is too much what is it I don't feel I just turned back because like I said okay you don't want to shut up I will shut you up that was my reaction do you understand and, and so I that's... moved towards her Choma just Choma just jumped in front of me and I am so sorry because when I'm angry please you should understand we are all different we have with the way we handle situations differs do you understand i'm not saying my own way of handling things is the best but this is me do you understand i was very angry trauma came in front of me i i didn't even know how i flinged her i just said bah and the next before i moved again she came again i don't know bah. because each time i was trying to move she was coming in front of me and i didn't want anybody to hold me because she kept ranting and she was insulting me at that. And I just wanted to get close to her and say, you know what? If you're this angry, let us beat ourselves up so that we can both, you understand? When we finish beating ourselves, very well, we'll not sit down and say, okay, what is it? Do you understand? So that is me. And oh, yeah. I didn't even know oh, Choma yeah. got hurt in the process. Do you understand? Yeah, and then the next thing, bring you into this. Yeah. now you guys should understand yes. that the camera, everybody, everybody had gone to sleep. It was just us. We were supposed to go and sleep. It was in the middle of the night. The camera people had their own apartment, which was very far from where we were. There was no camera there. Do you understand? It was just for us to sleep. Miriam came from nowhere and grabbed me from the back and pulled me, and I fell on the bed with her. I turned. I even wanted to punch that one. Before I now realized that, ah, is Miriam. Then I calmed down. <laughs> now, that, that moment, I just left the room because Miriam was saying, oh, yeah, punch me. Oh, yeah, punch me so you can get the anger off. And Miriam came saying, Carola, can you shut up? Can you shut up? What is wrong with you? I said, I'm not going to shut up. I will not shut up for her. I want her to do what I was today. I want, you know, like, yeah. you had an issue with me and I didn't know. That was how I felt. Sorry, I'm raising my voice, but what happened? What yes, because people need to understand that he wasn't the fact that she even disrespected me. He was the fact that I was hurt by her words because this was someone I genuinely loved, stood for. Then I had <clears throat> a day to my daughter's birthday. Me, yeah, but my children are so golden to me. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> my children, I don't joke. I had to cancel the appointment I had. With, I could not go to see all the vendors. I didn't go to the hall. I didn't know anything they were doing about my daughter's birthday because I was so focused on trying to make sure that all of them, you know, that we settle all this wahala so that we can move on from there. All that meeting well, that they said I well, planned Laura. to 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 um to set up Laura. Everybody had an issue with Laura. And I just, we felt like, you know what? We all need to come and tell her exactly how we feel so that she can stop. Because we just needed her to stop. you did that particularly for Caroline. Yes, we needed her to stop. Do you understand? And Caroline was one of the reasons why. Yeah, and then all okay. of a sudden, yeah, no. now let me tell you where the twist is. Let me tell you where the twist is now. Let me tell you where the twist is that um, I was trying to explain it on, on the reunion, but I know they might show it, they might not show it because I we didn't have time to really go into details like I'm doing with you ladies now. I went... I went downstairs, right? I went downstairs. Now my PA went to hide himself because I wanted to leave the apartment. But my, the key of my room was in my PA. I couldn't, even my slippers, I couldn't find it. I couldn't, my wigs, everything was flying different places. I didn't even know where everything was. So I was looking for, where is my PA? Where did he go to? I wanted to leave because I, I didn't want to be there. I didn't want him to, to try and make peace between me and Caroline that moment. So I wanted to leave. Do you understand? So in the bit of looking for my, my PA, I couldn't find him. I, I just sat down in the living room there. Now, when I sat down there, now the doors were open and I could hear, Choma, no, I went into Choma's room. I went back upstairs. I went into um, where them Choma's room were. Laura came to meet me there. She wanted to find out what was going on. They had called the team. The team wanted to speak to me. They wanted to know if they should call the police or come down, you know, like. Uh, then okay, Choma yeah. came in. And when Choma came in, Choma was like, yeah, but please, I need to talk to you. And then Laura left. And then Choma was like, please, please. And I said, Choma, let me tell you something. I love you so much. I love you really much. But I'm going to tell you something today. That girl has crossed the line with me. And trust me, if you get involved, you yourself, I will join you together. Both of you. Five of you, Nano Rich. That's what I told her. I, me, if I want to start, I will start. So I am starting already. So don't come and she said, no, 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 you can't do that. Oh, you need to understand. Caroline is my friend and you're my person too. And you're my friend too. So please, we have to. I said, Choma, leave me alone. 
Chama said, no, 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 I can't do that. I have to bring her to bed. I said, don't bring her to come and beg me. Because you see, when I now went out of the room, I heard Miriam and um, Tiana telling her, ah, you have to apologize. It's not fair. Ah, no, you can't do this to Yabo. Ah, ah Yabo, that, you understand? And she was like, no, I'm not apologizing. I will not apologize. Apologize for what? Who is she? I'm not apologizing. I don't give a fuck about her. I don't care about her. Apologize. What the fuck can she do? No, 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 no. And I'm, do you understand? I'm already in a state of mind where I am pissed off. Do you understand? I went downstairs. Yeah. I was looking for my PA. And Chama went into the room and I heard Chama's voice say, no, you have to apologize. No, Caroline, you can't say that. Not to Iyabo. You can't do that. You know, she went on and on. I'm shouting so you guys can understand how he said the argument was, yeah. right? And she went on and on and on and on. And two seconds, I see all of them coming down with the same person that is saying she cannot apologize. So I got up on that pallor. I went to the balcony. She followed me. She now hugged me from behind. Auntie Abo, I'm sorry. Auntie Abo, I didn't mean it. Auntie Abo, this I was boiling. I felt like decking her, but at the same time, ugh, I was like, okay, yeah, but just behave yourself. Do you understand? Okay, you are sorry, no problem. No problem, it's okay. But you know when somebody's saying you are sorry, and I say, okay, okay, no problem, because everybody was apologizing. I do. I want the apology to stop. It's okay. I just need to go and process. I'm a deep thinker. I need to process exactly what happened here. Do you understand? So I started crying. I said, Caroline, please, I want to ask you one thing. What exactly did I do wrong? I need to know what I did wrong. If Tiana had come to ask you if you were okay with the room and you told her you were okay, where is my fault? Where is my insensitivity coming from? This same insensitive, you said I'm insensitive to you. This same me that I've always stood for you, by you, always. I don't get it. What did I do wrong? What exactly is your problem? What is it? Tell me. Say nothing, nothing, no. It was just a transfer. So I said, when you get this angry, is this how you transfer your aggression? Is this how you raise your voice and scream and shout and insult people because you want to transfer your aggression? Say, it's the devil. I should just forgive her. I should just let it go. So fine, I left. They walked me back to my room. I didn't even have slippers on my leg. I walked with my bare feet back to my apartment and then I saw my PA along the way and I was like, Oh, guy, where did you go to? He said uh, he just ran out of the room because he didn't he knew. He didn't want me to live like that in that mood. Okay, fine. So we went into my room. Everybody went. I'm like, case closed. Yeah. The next yeah. morning, I woke up to her message. Caroline sent me a message and said she was sorry. And Chioma also sent me a message apologizing on behalf of Caroline. Okay, and that day was supposed to be the Bilonia's theme, right? I stayed in my room oh, all day. Tiana right, kept right, talking right. to me. Yeah, but sorry, before you go further, I wanted to confirm, reconfirm yeah. something, Choma, based off of yeah. what you say. Um, Choma, yeah. um, during the time you guys were out and everything, was there any issue that you had with uh, Caroline that made her feel kind of irritated and feel not to have you in the same uh, space with her? Because you know, what could have triggered her to be irritated that much to so, go so I, I think for me that was also my confusion because Yeah, Caroline that's a good question. The person, Caroline's the person that came to me to say that oh Tony's husband just came from Nigeria, he doesn't have a place to stay, you know, because me and Caroline were supposed to go to that separate apartment, you know, to be honest, we were like two piece in a pod. So everyone just agreed that let them be going to the apartment, everybody else will stay in the other in the bigger apartment. So when they now decided that oh Tony's husband and her and Yabo, she stayed in that other apartment that me and Caroline were supposed to stay in. Toyin asked Caroline first. Caroline came to ask me if it was okay. And she actually said to me, you know, since it's her and her husband and he doesn't have a place to stay, let them just stay together. Obviously, me and you can share a room now. It's not me and you. It's fine. And I was like, hmm. Hmm. I said, okay, no problem. I was even slightly hesitant, if I'm being honest, to agree to this. But I was like, okay, no problem. Fine. We'll share the room and Toyin, Yabo and her husband can go to the other apartment perfectly fine and then we went to the mall that afternoon and you know halfway through on the journey she was like this production people they're not even serious why are they not making us share a room and i was like but it's not production making us share a room production have said that we me and you can have the apartment you're the one that just agreed to toy in that you don't mind sharing a room she was like mm, but at the end of the day why us though why did she have to ask me and you why didn't she ask anybody else and I was like, mm, obviously, because we're the closest. And she was just like, hmm, anyway, please, I'm even irritated about the situation. You know, I was like, yeah, but I mean, you've already said yes to Toyin, you know, and I think it's the right thing to do since it's her husband. You know, it's cool. She was like, anyway, whatever, Sha, next time. And so that's kind of like all we discussed about it. But it was very clear that Toyin and her husband were staying in that room. And it was actually no fault of production. Production had nothing to do with it. So she wasn't necessarily angry at the situation. She just expressed that, mm, you know it's like somebody has made up their mind to do something and then the next thing you're changing your mind so even i was shocked that she was changing her mind 
And then when we got back to the apartment, Yabba's right. She was talking to Laura. Her and Toyin and Laura were having a conversation. And I think that pissed off Caroline that Yabba was having a conversation with Laura because, I mean, naturally, she probably expected that, oh, we're still not all talking to Laura, you know, because of Laura's drama and blah, blah, blah. So maybe her coming and seeing Yabba talking to Laura pissed her off and then she just went straight upstairs to the bedroom. So that's all that happened. Nothing happened between me and her. Me and her were still good. Like, we're fine. We're just staying, you know. And then Yabba now came to say goodnight and then she just went from zero to one million. Wow. So even yeah. I was like, huh? Still angry. Not really angry at um, Caroline, but I was just, I was hurt. Let me use that word. Because, you know, sometimes when you want to do things and they don't allow you to do it, you know, that kind of feeling. I had that feeling and I had to keep talking to myself. Tiana came in, you understand, telling me, oh, yeah, well, take it easy, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, Tiana, even you, I don't want to talk to you this moment. Yes, I said that. I don't want to talk to you this moment. And she said, why? I said, you yourself, you said this and this about me. So do you understand? This, I was now, I had lost it. I was like, okay, that was the angry. first time you confronted Tiana about And I told her straight up. I, that was the first time because I was now angry. I like, you understand? I woke up the next morning very angry. I slept angry. I woke up angry. Do you understand? I was like, you yourself, you said this, you said that, you said this, you said that. And she was like, she quickly went to bring the message. She showed me, she tried to explain herself, blah, 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 blah. I said, so don't come and tell me that you warned me about anything. Don't come, because that's what made me tell her that she said, yeah, Auntie Abba, you know, I warned you. I said, don't come and tell me you warned me. Don't use that word you warned me because you yourself said this about me. You yourself did. I said, that was not what she meant. You know, Caroline Malin put it, twisted it, blah, blah, blah. I, was, I went off on her. Tiana started crying. I started crying. Do you understand? And we yeah, had so that. But you know, it was her birthday. So I had to calm down, do you yeah. understand? And I'm like, I don't even want to go for the, I'm not going for the bilunia rubbish. I'm not doing anything. Choma called me in between. Are you getting ready? I said, I'm not going. Choma said, ah, oh, you can't do that one. Do you want me to come down? You can't, you have to. Ah, you can't do that one. Even if it's for Tina, you have to go. I'm like, I, Choma, I'm not coming. If I come, I don't know how I'm going to react. But right now, until I get an answer for why she did that, I don't want to have anything to do with her. She said sorry yesterday. I had to accept her sorry so that we cannot go and sleep. But I woke up this morning, I still need an explanation because I don't get what is going on. She needs to tell me exactly what I've done wrong. Do you understand? So I, Chama was like, don't do that. You have to do that for Tiana. Then Tiana came, she was crying. Uh, and see, yeah, boy, my bed is this nice. This is not good. Though. I said, okay, I am sorry. Okay, then I had to do my makeup. So that day I was not myself, but I had to go. Yeah. No, I'm right? glad that you, explain, when I got there, that you that explained day, that. Yeah. When we got to the Binyonia Club, do you understand? I was already teary from the car. Cause you know, like I am not myself, you know, I'm someone that I take time. I take time to get over things. So, and this is what, this is a rush. Something happened yesterday night today. People want me to be on the same show with her. You understand? I wasn't having all these things. I, I just wanted to like be in my room, lock my door, not talk to anybody, cry if I had to cry, get over whatever I had to get over. But I was not given that space and that time because we had to record, right? So I got there. The team came, some of them came to meet me to talk to, talk to me. Like they can see I'm not smiling. Because when I came down from the car, my face was very hard. They had to cut and take that scene again. They said, when I came down, was my face was not okay. That I need to smile, you know, I need to show that I'm happy. So I had to go back into the car, come back out again, pretend to be okay, right? So I got into the hall, I sat down there and immediately I saw Caroline. Now note, I've not seen her since we had the issue a night, right? So this was the next day. This was my first time seeing her. I mean, I saw her. The tears were just uncontrollable. I could not stop crying. So I had to quickly get up from there. I went straight. You understand? The camera picked my tears a bit, but I'm sure they didn't want to show that part. So I went straight into the toilet and I started crying. I was crying uncontrolling. And then I just saw Choma came at me and she was like, I knew you were... I knew you came here to cry. I knew, please, you have to come down. You have to understand that she's sorry. You know, please just let it go. I'm like, Shoma, can you tell me what exactly it is I did wrong? Because I, I always like to know what I've done wrong. If she doesn't tell me what I've done wrong, I already have concluded in my head that this lady had problems with me long time ago, but she was looking for an opportunity to vent it out. So now she has done that. And when you...
you have a problem with me and I can I walk, right? So I am not going to take her apology until she truly, because it cannot be revealed. No, 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 no. How can you tell me transfer aggression? You're telling me, are you crazy? What is wrong with you? Are you my mother? Don't fucking talk to me. Who the fuck are you? What the fuck are you? What do you think you are? What can you do? You do too much. Get out. Leave me alone. Ah, no, no, no. It cannot be transfer aggression. Now. There has to be something else. And she needs to talk. Do you And Chema was like, see, I just need you to be okay. I just want you to know that even I, I feel, oh, that was when she told me that she had, had bruises all over her body. I said, oh, really? I didn't know. I'm sorry. Do you understand? And even the fact that she not told me I bruised her, that one even now made my matter worse. I just started crying. Then Miriam came. Yeah. She met us. Then Miriam was like, ah, oh, God, yeah, boy, I knew. And then they both started petting me, begging me, blah, 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 blah. And we went on and on. And then I was one and a half hours away. And the show was just about to end. So they said, we need to get back on set or let's... The sh they will not be able to use the show when everybody's not there. Three of them, three of us was out of the show already. So I had to go back there, powder my face, and then went back on set. And then forcefully, I had to dance and everything. Do you understand? I heard Caroline saying, I danced with her. I didn't dance with you. I was dancing my own. Are you coming to me from where I stand? Do you understand? I was doing my own thing. Then, when we were about leaving, do you understand? We were about leaving. Tony's husband had decided to take professional pictures for us uh, you understand we saw some fancy cars packed outside i'm like okay let's tap into this let's take pictures because you know, i was just trying to make myself happy do you understand so we went i was taking pictures choma was i wanted to do videos for choma so choma was standing next to me waiting for me to take the phone and do her videos because you know we do videos for each other so as i was standing there she came i said auntie abo i got you something please and then she stretched the gift towards me and i did not answer her at first. Santi Yabo, please now take it now. And then I looked at Choma and Choma was doing her face like, Choma, now you cost all this wala for me. So and Choma was doing her face like, please take the gift now, take the gift now. You know, like, you know, she was just telling me, please take it, take it. And I'm like, okay. So I took the gift and I went to drop it in the car. And then I finished and then I left. When I got back to the hotel, Tiana picked up the gift. I said, Tiana, don't touch that gift. I want to return it. I just had to collect it because she gave me outside. People were there. And Choma was nodding her head, like, I should take it, I should take it, I don't want that gift. I'm going to be the wrong. There is more to this thing. What I saw in her, the fights, the anger, everything, I there is so much. I can't be close to, I like to know my enemies. Do you understand? I like to know. Do you understand? So I can know how to deal with you. I hate okay. friend enemies. You cannot, I cannot see so much hate and anger in your eyes towards me, and I'll be cool with you. I mean, I don't, I, I'm an actress. I understand reactions. Do you understand? To, uh, to the billionaires. Uh, I understand gestures. It's what I do for a living. I understand mannerism. <laughs> I've been an actress for 20 something years. So I said, I'm returning. Tiana just opened the gift. She wanted to see. She saw that it was a perfume. She had my initials on it. She put it back. I didn't even care. Now, guess what? I woke up the next morning and Tiana came to me. Shoma came to speak to me. See, please. You just need to be okay. I said, Ch Choma, what, what is your own now in this beggy, 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 beggy? You said you are begging more than the... She, she said, because she knows that I'm upset and she's not going to be comfortable that I'm not okay with Caroline and then she's with Caroline. That she just wants the three of us to be back like before. I said, Choma, go and rest. Do you understand? And I went off the phone with her. So that kind of got me thinking and I so bless God. I so bless God that I made that move. Now, immediately, I just said to myself, Iabo, you are an elderly person. You are older than this girl. Let it go. With time, you will heal. And with time, she will get to explain exactly what went wrong with her. But for the meantime, just don't, so that people don't keep begging you and begging you and you don't look like a witch, right? Just let it go. So I left and I said, you know what? Let me go and give them a surprise visit. Now, this is the part that nobody knew. This is the part that I didn't even tell anybody until when we had that reunion, yeah? When I got into the apartment, now note, my apartment is far from their own. When I got there, the door was opened. I walked in and I was about going to their room from the, from my, as I entered that apartment, are you hearing me? We can yeah. hear you. I heard the exchange of words mm -hmm. I just, I was hearing noise. Ba, 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 ba. Some people were arguing upstairs. 
I could hear Caroline's voice. I could hear Choma's voice. I could hear Miriam's voice. So I climbed gently upstairs, like, what is going on here? Uh -uh. Who is fighting who? And as I got close to the door, I heard, I cannot apologize, which is Caroline. I will not apologize again. What is it? I have given her a gift. I knelt down. I have a, I'm not, and I heard Choma say, I am not telling you to apologize. I'm just saying, talk to her. I'm just saying, talk to her because yesterday you, you asked me, what is wrong? What happened in the whole, um, in the toilet? And I told you that she went there and she was crying. So it means that she's still hot. Just talk to her. I said, no, I'm not talking to her, blah, blah, blah. And they started. Yapo, if you open that door and go in, I will bounce on Caroline again. Do you understand? Because I, I'm still angry. So I just went back downstairs and I sat in the living room. Now note, both of them didn't know I was in that living room, right? I went back, I sat down, and they were still raising their voice. Ah, papa, then all of a sudden, I could hear, fuck you, get out, bitch, you, blah, blah, both of them. You know, Choma's mouth. Okay, so mouth that explained Choma. They were just that, throwing okay, different things. That now explained Choma. Bulls, 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 bulls. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. That, no, that is not the part camera, that people don't get. Do you understand? I know, now, I know, yeah. he was not on camera, and I didn't talk about it. Yeah. I kept it yeah. to myself. Because I now, not that I told you that I'm trying to work on myself. Do you understand? So I sat down there angry this is me wanting to heal now for me to now come and see that the lady that came to say she was sorry sorry and knelt down and even bought me a gift was still saying she's not going to have a conversation with me again okay. if i cannot take the sorry that she has given and the gift i should fuck off okay. right it makes sense no. and i'm okay, sitting it makes sense. Choma, yeah it makes yeah. sense Choma. It's, this is, okay, and then this both of me. them had an argument. Mm -hmm. Carol, uh, Miriam was trying to get in between them, and they both came out of the room. So, as they came, when you stand upstairs, you can see downstairs. You know those kind of apartment, yeah. So, as they opened their door, they saw me downstairs, both of them, and then all of a sudden, the shout that they were shouting at each other ceased. The next time, just said, "How's he about, Carol? How's he about to talk to you? How's he about to talk to you? Come on." <laughs> Hmm. Now I can see your true picture. Now I know who you truly are. Now I can read your, your your mind. Now I know that that gift you gave me was fake. Now I know that the apology wasn't coming from somewhere. Because if it's coming from somewhere and they told you that, oh, Yabo was crying nonstop yesterday because of this matter, you should say, oh, really? She's still hot? Okay, I'll try and talk to her. Oh, I didn't know she's this hot, right? You and Chama would not have had that piece of. Now remember, they were already swing on each other. Shut up, get out. Who is controlling you? Who is telling you? I'm just telling you the right. You know, they were both, that's Chama's voice. And Carol was like, you two, shut up, idiot. And they were both having that conversation. <laughs> so yeah. here is I, me, uh, yeah. all of a sudden, yeah. in a twinkle of an eye, just because you spotted me downstairs, you just came, Auntie Abba, Auntie Abba, can I have a conversation with you? And I ignored her and I followed Chioma. And we went okay, upstairs. So and Choma was shaking. She was shaking. Explains. You know, mm -hmm. Choma was shaking. Yeah. She was crying. She was shaking. I got caught because of this girl. Look at my aunt. I, I, I said, hey, don't worry. Don't see anything. Miriam came in and said, Yabo, just Yabo. Is Yabo Joe? Like, Miriam was just begging me, Yabo, please, please. Just let's, don't get angry. I know. I said, I said, Miriam, I heard everything. She said, I know, I know. Don't get angry. And then the next minute, Caroline, Caroline came back into the room. And say, but please, I really need to talk to you. She was like, what do you want to talk to her about? What do you want? She said, I said, Choma, wait, let me go and meet her. So I left and I went with Choma and Caroline. And immediately said, Auntie Yabo, honestly, let me kneel down for you again. I am so, I said, Caroline, wait, this you're kneeling down. Everything is not my problem. My problem is what you see behind my back. It's very important to me. Oh, don't mind. Has Choma told you anything? I never told her Choma did or not. I just kept quiet. I said, Caroline, it's not about what your mother told me or what your mother did not tell me, right? What exactly is your problem with me? Don't come up and be saying Auntie Yabo, Auntie Yabo in my back, in my front, then in my back. You're like, who the fuck is she? I don't give a fuck about her. See exactly what I've done. So that if I, if I have to be the one to kneel down and apologize to you, I will do it. Where did I go wrong with you? What have I done wrong to you? Explain yourself. At least, Laura, I can see that our own wahala. I can identify our own problem with me. Do you understand? I know how to deal with it. Your own problem, I cannot identify because when you see me this minute, you're very sweet and nice. And the next minute, behind my back, hey, you're fire. 
Do you understand? I said, no, Auntie, yeah, but honestly, it was just transfer aggression, you know, and truly, truly, now I realize that what your mama said is true. She said I should have had a heart to heart talk with you. Okay, so let me just have that heart to heart talk with you now. I said, okay. You see, Chioma, I don't know what is wrong with Chioma. I think Chioma has changed towards me. I think Chioma does not really like me again. I said, why do you think that? I don't know. I just feel she has a problem with me because I mean, uh, she was the first person that said shut up and I said shut up. So she says stupid, I said stupid. I said, I don't know who said shut up first. And that is not my issue. With me. And you and Chioma cannot be fighting here. My problem now is what did I do to you? She said nothing. And I said, okay. I made up my mind. I was not going to have an issue with her about it again, but I did not want to be the reason why Chioma and Caroline will have an issue. Now, the mm-hmm. parts that they did not show, because they jumped. Most of the parts the- actually that you said, everything that you yes. carry said. Now, yes. It, it, so it, when we were, it's not on the show. So, yes. So when we were at the pool side, now, you know, we had to do the pool thing. Actually, we're supposed to go on the beach, do some ride, but there was no time we we always get the lit when we got to the beach house the, the pool house we had the swimming and everything and the crew wanted me to still talk about the issue now remember the crew was not there when all this fight and issue happened so they wanted me to talk about it now on camera i said this Am I on the sense podcast yesterday yeah. that I, guy said podcast yesterday. Mm, I said not... this on the podcast yesterday i said this on the podcast yesterday yes <laughs> Yes, should not have happened. Just that, but I needed to talk about it because obviously people would now notice that me and Caroline has a fallout. So people will not understand. So they made they needed. Let me use Chomas' word. They needed to make it make sense. Do you understand? So they wanted <laughs> us to come together and have that conversation. But because sometimes we don't want to have to get right? Now, notice that I already had caught Caroline that she was not really sorry. Hmm? But I had to now pretend. So I sat down there. They wanted me to have this conversation, right? Now, they all came. Guess what? I was supposed to start the conversation, but Miriam started the conversation. <laughs> right? Miriam was like, ha. Ah, yeah, but I'm so happy that you are forgiving Caroline and everything is okay, blah, blah, blah. I said, but because I noticed that, I noticed that Choma was still, because of the, that we both very well in that room. Do you understand? So mm-hmm. I knew that Choma was still not having it with Caroline. Do you understand? So for, for you to now, I now, I twisted the conversation to myself. I said, Caroline, I have forgiven you. Everything is fine. But I don't like the fact that you and Chioma had that fallout. So I will appreciate it because I know Chioma has showed me her bruises. And I would have liked both of us to beat ourselves very well and end up in Dubai, apologize to her for <laughs> you know what happened that okay, Chioma, because of me, this happened to you. Oh yeah. So that everything can cuckoo just end. Do you understand? So we don't have to bring the drama on the show. Caroline said, I don't owe her an apology and I'm not apologizing. I already oh, Jesus this Christ, spoke Caroline. to her. I am not apologizing. Omo, that's how Choma wow. went up. What do you mean? I know you are not sorry. I know you're not sorry. Yeah, so you see, I know you're not sorry was not for me. That's okay. what you showed me that way. Okay. When Choma said, I know you're not sorry, it wasn't for me. It was for her. Ah, okay. Okay. It makes sense. Okay. Are you getting okay. in that place now? Right. She yeah. got jumped because of me. I, I thought I, they didn't put that, but I was the one who told Caroline to say sorry to Choma. Okay. You understand? So when she said, no, I'm not saying sorry to her, I spoke to her. Shona said, okay, so what about the pain? What you know, what's going on? Blah, blah, blah. And she said, but I said, so. and she faced Miriam and said, Miriam, wasn't I sorry? Miriam said, no, you were not sorry. She faced Diana and said, no, you were not sorry. Do you understand? So then she said, but I was sorry. I apologize to her. 
Tiabo. I even bought a gift three times. We were talking about trauma. trauma. Yeah. Yeah. Shondi, I was looking. Yeah. What are we saying? What are you saying? <laughs> Do you get what happened here? What yeah, it makes, it makes sense now. It, it makes sense. It makes sense. Because we are kind of wondering how come that she has apologized three times according to her. And, uh, Thank you. So and if I didn't walk, if I didn't walk into them having that heated argument, do you understand? All that she says, sorry, I would have believed it and I would have accepted it. Yeah. Because then immediately I left that bitch house that day. The next day, as I woke up, I told my PA, go and return that gift to her. Okay. Because when I said, say sorry to your friend, forget getting bruised because of you, I was expecting now to say, oh, Choma, we are sorry now. Eh? Sorry. So, Auntie Abo, you said, eh, why did you throw her? You no, know, I was expecting us to play and laugh you know, over the matter so that we can all you understand. Even though I already had my confirmation that she was not sorry because I heard it. That was what I wanted to do today. But she now said she was not going to apologize to Choma. It wasn't like she was not going to apologize to me. It was not me. I was not the issue. It was Choma and her. Oh, let's so go. I So when the situation happened with the Yabba, I'll give you from my perspective. The Yabba, everything she said is 100% accurate. You know, came up to say goodbye. Carol and I started screaming and shouting and insulting her. And she just went off on one. And the Yabba was like, you're raising your voice. Carol and I said, it's not me. You started. And I said, mm, Carol and actually, you're raising your voice. Relax. You know? Yeah. And then it proceeded to Yabba, you know, pushing me. Now, the reason why I stood in front is because Yabba had told us a story about how when she fights, she likes to put people into glass. And she likes to see blood. And if she doesn't see blood, her body's not going to be okay. And I remember this story. And that day, Caroline was standing next to a glass window. Well, actually in Miriam's room. Because to be honest, we actually didn't have a room at that point in time. So maybe that added to her frustration. I don't know. But we were in Miriam's room. She was standing by the glass. And the way Iyaba walked away, you know when someone's insulting you and you're just walking away and then you're like, uh -uh, actually, hold on, who the hell? So she turned around. She bent and she turned around and she started running towards Caroline. And I was like, oh, no, 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 Caroline is going through this glass if it's what I'm seeing. So naturally, instinctively, and because I am a loyal person and I did like Caroline, I stood in front of Iyaba and I said, no, don't do this. Iyaba flung me away. She got up ready. To, I, I got up rather came back in front of Iyaba, she flung me again, I got up and I protected Caroline. I didn't want wow. Iyaba to hurt her. I, I, you know when somebody, somebody's eyes are red, her eyes were red. And I knew what was yeah. going to happen. And I'm just like, if she pushes Caroline through this glass, Caroline will be injured, there'll be blood, police will come, it will mess up everything. Like, we can avoid this. And I blindly stood in front of her, not even caring what would have happened to me at that point in time. Mm -hmm. Now, it is true, she didn't want to apologize. Do you understand? We, everybody was begging her, begging her, begging her. She didn't want to apologize. And the other was like, you know what? I'm going to change it for this girl on this show. That drama everybody has look, been looking for, I'm going to give it to Caroline. I will deal, I will make her life miserable and she will leave this set. And the other was not joking. And if you know the other, you know that's exactly what she's going to do. And so naturally, Caroline being my friend, somebody that I was close to and I cared about, I was like, no, Iyaba, you can't do this, please. Like, not Caroline. She was like, no way. How can Caroline insult and disrespect her like that for no reason? And I said, I understand. Please, let me speak to Caroline. Now, at this point, Miriam Antoine had been begging her to apologize and she was obviously screaming like she's not going to, but she was still angry, screaming and shouting. And so I go and talk to Caroline. I'm like, Caroline, do you know what? Just say sorry, let this night end. Do you understand? A simple sorry can cancel all of this. I do not want a situation whereby Iyabo starts picking on you and she will finish you. I said, just, this thing could be avoided. Please don't do this. I said, just apologize. She was like, mm, okay, we go downstairs. She does that apology, which Iyabo obviously is a bit irritated with, you know. The next day, yeah. true, true, we go to the mall. She gets like perfume and stuff so that Iyabo is... um you know obviously can kind of like get over it or whatever now whether she was genuine or not at this point i don't even know and it's irrespective let's even assume that her apology was genuine right no problem we go to billionaire's club iabo is in fact i've never seen her like that and i just felt so bad because you know when somebody has been there for you like somebody is your person the like iabo and tiana were not even close on the show if you guys noticed they had a relationship outside the show. On the show, she was far closer to Caroline and myself. And I knew that caused a lot of problems for her and Tiana. Because Tiana couldn't understand why Iyaba will come 
on this show when they were like besties. They've been styling each other for years and years and you're not being close to these two new girls from where to where. It was a big issue. So I kind of understood all the sacrifices that Iyaba had made and just her always supporting us, having our back, all the issues Caroline had with production on a weekly basis. You know, me getting involved, me dragging Iyaba to get involved. I mean, she'd been there for Caroline. There's no shadow of a doubt about that, you know? So seeing how down she was, how offended, how hurt, she went to the bathroom. We're in that toilet for an hour and a half. I don't know how they cut it. The Billionaires Club didn't even show you guys anything. We were in the, if they showed it as it was, you'll see that me and Iyaba were out of our seats for one and a half hours throughout that you evening. Guys, I didn't even eat anything like at the Billionaires Club. was really low. You, I noticed you and uh, Iyaba's dominion at the It was very low. I did, at, let me tell you something. Billionaires Club in Dubai, Billionaire Club, is a place that I actually like to go to. Like, it's one of my... Ask them. I kept saying, ha, I got the food there, the sushi, da, 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 da. I didn't eat a bite of anything. I, I was nauseous with the amount of crying that I cried. Yaba was crying when the bottom. It was so emotional. And I understood her plight. I know how she felt, you know? Now, let me tell you the part that the camera didn't show. And I don't even think Yaba knows. And how, for me, it started just deteriorating. When we were leaving Billionaire's Club, Yaba had gone back to the toilet. Yaba, do you remember you went back to the toilet? I think, I don't know what you were yeah. for. This yeah. one we're leaving, right? This is after I we spent an hour and a half in the middle. Okay, she went into the toilet to pee. So me and Caroline were walking out together. I said, Caroline, Iaba's in the toilet now. She's alone. I said, please come and talk to her now, right? Before we get back to the hotel. Just make her feel better because trust me, she's not in a good place. You know how you can say sorry to someone, the person's like, hmm, okay, but the person is still carrying you in their mind and they will still deal with you any opportunity they get. Because I knew that she hadn't forgiven Caroline. I knew I was the one talking to her. I said, just come in the bathroom, come and talk to Iabo. And she was like, I beg, I beg, please, 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 please. I really said sorry. Don't, don't, don't disturb me to say sorry again. You know? And I was like, Caroline, now come on. She was like, mm -mm -mm, please, I can't keep saying sorry. I'm not a child. I'm not a child. I stopped telling me to say sorry. I was like, hmm, okay, well, no problem. She's like, I already bought her a gift. I'll give it to her when we get downstairs. I was like, hmm, okay, no problem. So we go downstairs. We're all taking pictures. Caroline comes with a gift. Uh, Yabba was facing me. She rolled her eyes like, hmm, this girl better not try and give me this gift. So I started telling her, please, now, you know, like, sign language, like, please, please, nod in my head, just collect, just collect, just collect. She rolled her eyes again and she collected the gift. She didn't want to collect that gift because she was still angry obviously mm -hmm. so she as soon as she took the gift she actually entered the car and she started like almost crying again just her mood was down she didn't come out of the car we continued taking pictures and then we went back to the villa so the next morning me and caroline were sharing a room by the way remember now yeah. i had all these bruises on my body <clears throat> i don't know if you saw a scene where i woke up and i was talking to my parents on the phone yeah yeah i'll tell you what i'll tell you what happened in that situation I woke, this was right after the fight, right? I woke up the next morning. I don't, you know how like, when there's a lot of adrenaline, you don't even realize that you're injured. So as I went, Iaba was pushing and flinging me. You know, it was a small room. So if somebody pushes you, you're knocking the mirror, you're knocking the side of the of the makeup dish. You know, it was, I was hurting myself, but I didn't even know. So when I woke up the next day, I, and my whole body, my arms were red. I had bruises, I had sores, my thighs were purple. I was like, what is this? Like, why would I even put myself in this kind of position where I've hurt myself this much and just the fact that two people that I'm extremely close to were fighting I was so emotional on that show people used to think that I was so tough I have no heart I was crying uncontrollably I didn't even speak to Caroline that morning because I was just so overwhelmed with everything I cried and cried production were like oh come and record I said I'm not recording anything they were like I said I can't record like how do you want me to record crying they were like okay just maybe talk to somebody because the problem with shows like this is when things happen outside of camera, because we're human, it will still show on camera. Do you understand? So when you see yeah. us gathering, you'll see that maybe I'm being a bit off with Caroline or Caroline is being off with Iyaba or Iyaba. So they have to make it make sense. So they kind of tell us, okay, no, we, you have to show us a little bit of a snippet or at least talk about it on camera. And so that's when I called my parents and my sisters to just kind of like narrate what was going on. But if you notice at that point, guys, pay attention, go and watch the clip back. I didn't mention any names. Yeah, I said no, you did I'm not. You did to. not. I said someone I'm close to versus somebody I like. You don't. I could, it could be anybody. It could have been Miriam that I like. It could have been Yabo that I was close to. That was. Do you understand? You 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 didn't know because I didn't want to talk about about it on camera. But production kept saying you have to. You have to. If not, because you're you're crying. Your eyes are red. Your counter is going to be obvious. So I said, okay, fine. But I tried to keep it as discreet as possible, still protecting Caroline. Ask Iyaba, ask Miriam, ask Torin. I was the one that said, guys, we cannot bring this to camera. You know when you're protecting somebody, like my sister has had this kind of fight. I don't want it to make camera. I said, guys, let's not bring this fight on camera, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. I spoke about it on the phone. 
anyways, now fast forward back to billionaires, you know, Iyaba took the gift. She still wasn't happy. You know, she was irritated. We all went to bed. The next morning we woke up. We're about to start getting ready for, I don't know what we have to do next. In fact, this is why we did it. You know, Iyaba said, oh, we got ready late. We couldn't make it to the beach. We're actually supposed to go to the beach and do all of this stuff. It's all this fighting that we ended up doing that dead pool party at night that you guys saw. That pool party was not yeah. even part of the plan. We're supposed to go to the beach, but so much was going on that we couldn't even record properly. So anyways, I was, you know, me and Caroline were in the room and stuff. And then Caroline was like, mm -hmm. so what were you and Iyaba even talking about for over an hour in the toilet? And I said, Caroline, she's really, really, really hurt. Honestly, she's like, but I don't understand why she's still so hurt. What's hurting her so much? I said, you can't say that. You can't say that. You, this is someone that has looked out for you for so long th throughout the entire season when she didn't have to. And you're shouting at her, telling her, oh, you know, my mother, you do too much. Fuck off. I'm not afraid of you. All of these things. I said, it's, it's, it's deep. It's, it's different if you're saying to somebody, you're mad, you're a bastard, fuck up. Those things don't mean anything. It's just general insult. You're mad, you're crazy, you're stupid. Who's crazy, who's stupid? We know that it's just general insults. But when you're being yeah. personal, like, you do too much, you are not my mother, who do you think you are? I'm not afraid of you. You're being honest. It, it sounds like you're saying to the person how you really feel. And that's where Iyaba was coming from. Iyaba was like, no, 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 she, this girl can't be saying these things to me after everything I've done for her. So for Iyaba, it was so much deeper. She was like, she, Caroline must explain what she meant by the things that she was saying and why she turned on me for no reason. So I said to Caroline, this is how Iyaba feels. Like you turned on her for no reason. So obviously you have things against her in your mind. And Caroline was like, yeah, hey, but I didn't mean it now. I was just saying it. I said, that's fine, but you have to explain this to her. And it's not by saying sorry. She was like, I beg, I beg, I beg, Choma, please, please, please. I've already told her sorry. I've got, I gave her, I gave her a gift. She collected it. I beg, it's okay. I've apologized three times. I'm not saying sorry again. And don't bring this thing up again. And I said, Caroline, are you okay? Like, what, what would it take for you to understand that this is somebody that actually loves and cares for you? You've hurt her feelings. She's older than you. She's been crying for the last two days. Just go and talk to her. What would it kill you to even talk to her? At this point, I wasn't even saying anything like, oh, ah, Yaba will deal with you. It wasn't even about that. It was just from a, from a very, from a sensitive point of view. This is someone that loves you. Do you understand? Just talk to mm -hmm. her. Maybe one little conversation explaining that actually I didn't mean these things. I really love you. I do, do care. I don't think that you do too much. Just let her feel better about this. Don't say sorry. Don't even say sorry again. Just explain. She was like, I beg, I beg. She's not doing it. She's not doing it. And I was like, you know, you're, you're actually a horrible person. And guess what? I'm washing my hands off the situation because I can't keep going and begging and begging and begging for you. And you're here saying, oh, I'm not explaining anything. I beg she should take the sorry and the gift and be going. It's deeper than that. And for me also, I was thinking, Caroline, like, that means tomorrow, if me and you have a fallout, this is how you're going to react. Do you understand? You're not going to you're not you're not going to care about how I feel. You're going to invalidate my feelings. You're not going to have any empathy. You wouldn't care. And mind you, in all of this, Caroline, till tomorrow, has not even seen. She never saw the bruises on my body. She never asked me. Actually, Choma, are you mm. okay? Are you fine? Let me see your bruises. Let me see your body. Let me see your thighs. Let me see your arm. You got in the way for me. I'm sorry that you got injured in my, on my behalf. On oh, God, she never used those words on me. So I'm already thinking, you don't even care that I got beat up for you, basically, right? Yeah. You don't even care that this woman is so hurt and has spent the entire two days crying, not even being able to film properly, not even being able to be herself. All your concern is, hey, I've said sorry, she should take it or leave it. So that's why I went, I started going off on uh, her, uh, in the room. And she was like, don't shout at me. How dare you? Don't command me. Why are you telling me to say, why are you forcing me to go and say sorry? I've already said sorry. Don't force me. You two don't talk to me like that. You two, you, you're not my mother. So she starts that whole thing of, you know, you can't talk to me like that, blah, 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 blah. And for me, I was just coming from a place of, oh my God, like how can I, if it's my sister, I'll be like, give me, like, give me knife. Let me cut your head open and make you understand the right thing to do. Because at the end, it wasn't even about supporting Iyabo versus Caroline. I, I was equally close to both of them. I liked both of them equally. Do you understand? So it wasn't like I took mm -hmm. anybody's side. It was just right is right, wrong is wrong. And for yeah. me, what kind of friend would I be if I cannot tell you, my friend, when you're doing the wrong thing? And the way Caroline handled the situation was not good. It wasn't about the story. It was about making this person feel better. It's like reassurance. Reassure me that you actually don't think that I do too much or I'm not your mother or you're not you know, putting me down with everything that I've done for you. Just do that for her. It wouldn't have killed Caroline to do that, but she refused to do it. And that lack of empathy, it hit me. I won't lie to you. It hit me because I'm a human being. So I'm thinking, ha, this your madness that you do with every other person, every other castmate, every production member, every day fighting somebody, you've now done it to Iyabo. <laughs> I'm next. Do you understand? 
if you can do it to you, but you're going to do it to me as well. And I'm thinking, no one's above mistakes. Do you understand? Even me, my mouth is shut. When I get angry, I say nasty things that sometimes I do regret. But at the end of the day, the ability to look back and be like, okay, do you know what? I messed up. Let me go and apologize and make it right. Not just apologize, make the effort to make it right. That's what's important for me. And that's one thing that she lacked in that particular situation. And I wasn't okay yeah. with it. I wasn't okay. It wasn't even just the arguments, oh, me and her fought or in the room or whatever. Mm -mm. I'm just like, like Caroline, is, is, does that mean that you're a bad person? Like, what is this? You fight everybody. I've allowed that, no problem. I've still been your friend. I've still defended you. I know how many people even had, even Toyn had issues with me because I was friends with, she told me, Toyn said, I can never be close to you because you're friends with Caroline and I hate Caroline. So me and you can never be good. I said wow. to Toyn, but Toyn, like at the end of the day, like I, I know you and Caroline have issues, but I don't have any issues with you. Mm -hmm. she said I don't care I cannot be friends with my I cannot be friends with a friend of my enemy that's what Toyin said to me and she would not deny it if you ask her so I know yeah. how many issues even Laura you will hear from Laura Laura categorically said my only issue with trauma is the fact that she supported Caroline knowing fully well that I hated Caroline she will tell you do you understand so this is me fighting your battles left and right like one idiot and then finally when 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 it's now time for you to show at least okay do you know what fuck everybody else I hate them but at least with you and Yaba because of how much you have my back I'll be different. You're still showing that you're still that same person, even to the people that love you. So that for me, I was like, ah, oh, no, 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 no. Mm -mm. This is not the kind of friendship that I understand. This is not, I don't even care for you to be loyal to me. My mouth is sharp. I don't even need anyone to have my back. I will have your back gladly. I'm that friend. But don't have that kind of evil hearts, that kind of thing where you can't even, you don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Eh, that's her business. She should fuck off. I was like, okay, no problem. I left it. So I was already irritated. Now, when we went to the pool, like I said, we still were not going to bring this thing on camera. There was no part where I said, okay, let's, I'm not the one, you know, it's, there's a lot of chop, 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 edits, edits. They pick, they, they put you guys in right in the middle because they wanted you to get to the heat of the fight. And every episode is only 14 minutes. Do you understand? So they can't show mm -hmm. you the whole thing because there's just not enough time. How that conversation started was not trauma coming and deciding to throw Caroline under the bus. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I didn't need to, everybody already knew the deal. Toyin and Miriam were the ones begging, they knew she was not sorry. Iyaba knew she wasn't sorry because in the bathroom, Iyaba told me, I know she's not sorry. And I kept saying, she is, she is, I swear to God, she is. And I, even I knew she wasn't, but I was still saying that she was. So it's not that I came to expose Caroline, ah, she's not sorry, or throw her under the bus or anything. None of that, zero. The camera, the production crew said to Iyaba, go and talk about the issue because you guys are going to be acting weird on camera and it wouldn't make sense. So you have to discuss what happened, you know? So Iyaba was like, ha, we're going to have to talk about it. So we all sat down, Miriam started talking about the issue, you know, and then Iyaba, there's a lot that you guys didn't see. So much had happened. It wasn't zero to a hundred. It wasn't from zero to a hundred. I mean, who's crazy? It didn't happen like that. So much conversation had gone down. And then mm -hmm. Iyaba was just like, you know what, Caroline, like, to be honest, like, forget me because, you know, whatever, you've been saying sorry. And she was just over everybody begging on her behalf. She was like, what about mm -hmm. trauma? Trauma was bruised and battered because of you. Like she really suffered and she really begged for you. Have you even told her sorry or even tried to make it up to her because of, you know, what she's sort of like been through because of you in the last two days? Caroline was like, uh -uh, trauma. I don't owe her any apology. I'm not, apolog I'm not apologizing to her. I don't owe her an apology. So imagine me. <laughs> All the begging that I've been begging. Iyaba, Iyaba and Tony's room was so far. Ask them, I'll be going back and forth like one jobless person, back and forth begging because I didn't want the drama for Caroline on camera. And anyway, I don't know. Those that know Iyaba, they know. I didn't want that for her. I've been begging back and forth. I'll talk to Caroline, make her understand. I'll go to Iyaba, beg her. I mean, I've been bruised. I never said to her, oh, you know, I got bruised because of you. Nothing. She knew, but I didn't bring it up with her. You're not saying, oh, I don't owe her an apology. Please, I beg, she'll be fine. I said, what? What? So that's what got to me. That lack of empathy, that sense of over entitlement, feeling like <laughs> at the end of the day, I did what I did, deal with it, you know? Yeah. I don't know. It just, it hurt me. Yeah, no, it, I, I understand it. I, I, it I hurt me. It, I, I, and you know yeah. what? I'm human. Did I say some nasty stuff? Yes. You know, do I sometimes regret some of the things that I say absolutely but I was so it, I wasn't angry I was hurt my chest was hurt you know when you're hurt that your chest is feeling yeah. you that kind of thing that's how I, I was like how can yeah. this girl be this person how can this girl be like this how can you lack empathy to this point how do you feel like the world revolves around you everybody just has to be like what is this hold on I'm, I'm on a podcast I was like no 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 this is not right and that's kind of like how the whole thing started do you understand and then her yeah. now saying oh I was sorry to Yabba from the big and I said you were but you were not sorry in fact now that now that everybody wants to be stupid let's all be stupid but you actually weren't sorry 
you know she was like it's a lie i was sorry what are you saying so in in all of this you're now trying to invalidate what i'm saying and make me out to be a liar after i've done nothing but defend you so i'm like no caroline actually mm -mm. In, i'm not gonna have you sit here and act like i'm lying i'm not lying you were not sorry do you understand and i can see that this same lack of empathy that you extended to yabo you're now extending it to me as well you know and that's oh. kind of like how everything just spiraled and got out of control and you know we started shouting and this this and the back and forth and the back and forth and of course miriam and twain were there as well they also i don't i don't know if they showed this um in uh, in well, the clip sorry, but sorry, miriam said it as well miriam said, hold on hold on sorry Mm -hmm. Hold on, Shama. Hold on, Shama. Auntie, so, uh, sorry. Yeah. So if anybody was going to throw anybody under the bus, Caroline started it. Because we're having a conversation of say sorry to Shama, and then he went to you were not sorry. And, you, and the next thing he said, but you also spoke about these ladies. You said they were ass. Yeah. Yes. Do you understand? So you brought up the conversation that you and Shama had just because you felt defeated and you wanted to throw Shama to under the bus. Do you understand? Because that was the conversation you had with Choma. And that's when Choma said, okay, but now I love them, but now I love them. Do you, yeah, you understand yeah. what I'm saying? And yeah, yeah. That, that was why Choma got that upset. Do you understand? With her, like, uh-uh, we're saying something else. You want to now come and throw me under the bus.